Hello, Nomsa. Good morning. How are you feeling? Being pregnant for the first time is a big adjustment. Oh, Nomsa. You know how much I love to cook? Well, lately the smell of meat and spices makes me feel so sick. I had to stop making my favorite dish, mince meat fed cook. Sometimes the only thing I can stomach is plain chips. Sure, don't be alarmed. That's normal. During the first trimester, your body goes through many changes that can cause nausea, vomiting, and new food cravings. The important thing is to make sure you are getting enough nutrients to stay healthy and help your baby grow. You won't get many nutrients from chips. So I can't just eat what my body is craving? While you're pregnant, and later while you're breastfeeding, all your baby's nutrition comes from you. Eating a variety of healthy foods will give your baby the specific nutrients that help each part of the body to grow and develop properly. I know I should eat better, but it's hard because I get really nauseous sometimes. Eating smaller meals throughout the day can actually help to prevent nausea. But try to eat at least three meals a day, plus a snack, especially if you're vomiting. We want to be careful that you are eating enough nutritious food and maintaining a healthy weight. That's why we check regularly if you're underweight. It's also important to drink water whenever you are thirsty. But how do I know which foods are better for me and my baby? I'm glad you asked. Colorful fruits and vegetables like mango, melon, carrots, pumpkin and spinach have important vitamins. So try to eat plenty of them. Also include some starchy foods like rice, pasta, bread and mealy meal. And don't forget protein rich foods like eggs, meat, chicken, beans, soya or lentils. I know some of these healthy foods may not be appealing right now, so do your best. Fatty fried and salty foods do not have the nutrients that you and your baby need. So if I do all that, do I still need to take the supplements I got from the clinic? Yes, your body is working extra hard to grow your baby and the supplements ensure your baby has everything she needs. Okay, I can do this. I'm just sad that I can't make my special mince meat fed cook anymore. Ever since I was a girl, I loved making fed cook with my gogo. I was even hoping I could start my own business and sell them. You will be able to do that again soon. But in the meantime, why don't you try using new ingredients? You've always been creative in the kitchen. Just make sure to start by washing your hands with soap and clean water. Wash raw fruits and vegetables in clean water before eating them. Cook meat, eggs and fish until they are well done. This prevents you from getting sick with bacteria or worms that will take away the nutrients you and your baby need. Thank you, Nomsa. This will be a good challenge for me. No, Msa. It's good to see you again. Thank you for all your support and regular visits. I've been creating new recipes using the healthy food we talked about. They are even better than the mincemeat. I even have orders from neighbors who want to buy them. Try this. Mmm. Kanyisa. This is delicious. Your baby is lucky to have such a healthy and creative mama. <laughs> <laughs>